Howdy and welcome back to Mama's Kitchen. I know, right? So cool. Shout out to Auntie Jules Hartley over in Brisbane who sent this to us. How cool is that? Really cool. Love it, love it, love it. She must have seen that um, whatever it was that we were cooking when I was in that really, really ugly apron and thought that uh, we needed a new one. So shout out to her. This is so flippin' cool. Today we are making enchiladas. So this is a family favourite of ours. I got some mints out of the deep freeze. This is a kilo, so this would feed six of us plus our two grandkids easily. Um, I put it in the deep, it was from the deep freeze and I chucked it into the microwave to um, pour it. Not always a good idea to leave it overnight on your bench. So, you know, thaw your food safely so that then you can not get poisoned. That's it really. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fry off this mince. This is just the, I think this is 82% meat and 18% fat. Eek. It's probably the opposite way for me. Yeah. Okay, right. So I'm going to fry this off so that all the fat can come up to the top and then I'm going to tip off the fat. So let me do that. And then in the meanwhile, we've also chopped up some onions. So get your things together and I'll show you what that looks like when it's all done. And we'll go from there. I browned off all the mince, so this is just a, a you know a cheaper mince. It's not the the prime beef because um, it wasn't on special, and I'm just too tight this week. So I've browned it off, and so if you have a look over here, you can see all that, all that, the fat, the juice, and the fat. We don't want the fat. Okay, so I'm going to take this off, and basically what I'm going to do is just take a small hot lid and drain it off into an old can, okay? That way when the, the fat goes hard and it rises to the top, I can just put that straight into the bin and not down our sink, because that goes into our waterways and that's not cool. Okay, after I've done that, yeah, there we go. I'll put it back on the heat and start adding all my goodies. Now, I've got, look, if you want to cheat, you can go and get yourself, a, you know, a Mexican taco flavor or something like that. It's that's fine, but we're not going to do it that way. We're going to start collecting some of our um, herbs and things like that and, and spices. So let me grab a teaspoon. Back. Right. I'm going to chuck in a teaspoon of a heat teaspoon because I like. This is cumin, ground cumin. I love cumin. Love the smell of cumin. Teaspoon of oregano. Teaspoon of coriander. And a teaspoon of minced, um, minced, minced, minced garlic. Because I haven't got any, haven't got any fresh garlic, so that'll do. And ground coriander. So, teaspoon, 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 heaped teaspoon of garlic, because I'm all about the garlic, and half teaspoon of chilli, okay? So, oregano, cumin, and coriander, powdered coriander, and a teaspoon of that, and a teaspoon, heaped teaspoon of chilli, back, back, garlic, and half teaspoon of chilli. So let me do that, and I'll show you what that looks like. That took a long time, sorry. Chucked in my chopped onion. Did I tell you I chopped up an onion? It's a large onion. And I'm going to pour in about mm, half of. Actually, nah, I'll chuck it all in. Chuck that all in. And that's 700 grams worth of just a pasta sauce. And then I'm going to chuck in some corn. That was the corn that, from the can that I used for the juice. And then I'm going to chuck in chili beans, a can of chili beans, because it's also flavoured and, and we don't have to pour over it, adding too many more bits and pieces to it. Right. Right. Yum. Now, if you want to bulk it out a bit and make it go a bit further, then grate in a carrot, grate in some zucchini. Just be aware with things like zucchini that it's going to add 
more water to your dish. Okay, but that's all right, it'll just make it go further. Okay, it's the difference between feeding six people and feeding seven people well. Um, now what I'm also going to add is some tomato paste. So I'm going to open, there we go, find my spoon again and add a good tablespoon of tomato paste. Just makes it really richer, you know, just makes the flavour a lot deeper. So, and that's what we want. So come and have a look. Check that out. So we're going to need to salt and pepper it. Salt and pepper it to your taste. Okay. And add a little bit more of this or a little bit more of that if you want to. Remember, it's easier to add more of something than decide that you've added way too much chilli and it's going to burn your lips off. Okay. That's not cool. So let me cook this off for a little bit. This will probably cook for another 10 minutes at a lower heat. And um, just to sort of help develop those flavours and so all the spices and things can go through it, all the herbs and things can, can, can get it sorted out. I just, I lost my words. Okay, so let me do that and then we'll show you what we do next. Right, come and have a look at this. Look at that, that is flippin' delicious. At this stage, because it's all cooked off and things like that, you could eat it with like rice. You could cook some brown rice off beforehand and then have it with rice, you know, have it on top of rice with some cheese and a really good salad on the side. Um, but we're going to make enchiladas out of them. So we picked up a packet, at least one by the looks of things, care of my son, of tortillas, which is like four bucks from the shop for 15. Okay, and all we're going to do is take them out, a spoonful of this, and it doesn't matter how messy you get because it's all going to be on the, I've lined my, um, my dish, and I'm just going to wrap it up and stick it to the side, and repeat this until they're all, until it's all full. If we've got leftover sauce, it's fine, it's going to go on top of the cheese. So let me do this, and then I'll show you what that looks like. In a moment, okay? Ooh. I've got lots and lots of the chili left over, and if you want to be a real purist, then just chuck some cheese over top of that and or, you know, like a, a can of tomatoes that have been pureed up, shove that on top and with some cheese on top and it'll be all good. Um, I used to put, what is it, uh, sour cream on it first. Sour cream and then tomato sauce and, and um, it looked a little bit like puke, so I didn't do it anymore. But it tasted good, it tasted good. And here in our family, they're, they're just they're like uncultured swine, so it really doesn't matter. But what I'm gonna do with this is I'm just gonna shove it on top. Okay, and then just put lots and lots of cheese on top. We've grated about how many cups? A couple of cups, say Liz. Yeah. Spread that over. Yum! Does that look good? Smells right. amazing. So don't forget to salt and pepper your, your chilli too. That looks like way more than two cups, but we'll use... I grated it, and you I did, like cheese. You? you did. <laughs> you really like cheese, but maybe not quite so much. <laughs> you just turn into a big more The cheese, bar. the better. Okay, right. I think that's enough. And we'll put this in a, in a, a bag or a, yeah, in something like a, a glass jar or something so that we can use it again. So I'm going to put this in the oven and cook this off. Make up a big salad. How long did that take us? After I blubbered through my words and things like that. Probably 15 minutes. 15, maybe 20 minutes max. Okay. So it's really quick, really easy and way yummy. Family really love these. Okay. So let me put this in the oven. Cook it off and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all plated up. In the oven. Don't forget to wash out your containers. Okay. Um, if they've got the wee triangle underneath, the recycling triangle, then recycle them. Clean. Wash out your cans, 
soft plastics, these can go to most supermarkets, and your glass, and your lids, don't forget your lids, don't be throwing that in the bin, okay, and they can make more tins, um, and that's it. Um, enchiladas are cooking off beautifully in the oven, they'll probably only take another 10 minutes and they'll be ready. I just want to show you this, this is from my garden, okay, just a mixture, a mixture of, um, of Asian veg and lettuce and, and chives and that costs so little to grow, it was silly, you know, like you know, where you got the veggie cell packs of six and they cost me three bucks, I think it was, so um, after I gave some to my daughter and, and some for her own garden, we just pick them as we go, we don't take a whole lettuce out, we just pick the leaves off as we need it and it continues to grow, so this garden or the lettuce will last us for probably another three months before we have to think about um, growing some more, so I'll probably put some new plants in the garden in another um, maybe two or three weeks time so that we've got that continuous flow of veg. Cheap as chips, something like this would cost six bucks in the shop to buy. So have a think about what's going to be good economy for you as well, okay? So done. I managed to flip one over and completely, that's like a disaster area over the side, but it'll still taste good. So we got one out safely since I overpacked everything. We've got a great salad here, which I just salt and peppered, and I'm just gonna put, oh my gosh, if I can open this. When I open this up, I'm just gonna <laughs> put a small cap of apple cider vinegar on top, just as a dressing, just to give it a bit of a bite. So that's our dinner for tonight, enchiladas and a good salad. So really easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, big shout out to everybody that's followed us over the last year. One year since COVID, right? One year since we did the peaches thing or thereabouts. So really, really cool that we've got so many people following us. We really appreciate it. I think we started off with um, a couple of hundred people and I think they were just immediate family. <laughs> Good on you, Fano. And then um, we've steadily grown, which is really, really cool. If there's anybody out there that has a million bucks and they want to sponsor us, just call. Just call. <laughs> okay, just, just call us. We're here. <laughs> anyway, you have a great week. Take care, don't forget to um, build up your food storage cupboard and we'll see you soon, eh?